to create an awesome animation for a moving car in a ride hailing app, just like you see in Uber. This feature isn't just a cool animation, it's actually an essential part of the user experience. When users book a ride, showing the car's movement in real time provides visual feedback and reassures them that their ride is on the way. It keeps the experience engaging and helps build trust with the app. In this tutorial, we will learn how to animate a moving car on a map using Figma prototyping tools. Here is a quick preview of what we will be building today. We will start by designing the map and the car icon and then I will guide you through the step of adding smooth, realistic car movement using Figma Smart Animation features. You will be able to control the car parts and speed just like in a real ride heading app. So grab your Figma file and follow along. By the end of this tutorial, you will know how to create a dynamic interactive map that can truly elevate the user experience for your app. And if you are enjoying the content, make sure to like and subscribe for more Figma tutorials. Let's dive in and get the car moving. This is the previous image. So what I'm going to do now is to duplicate this first one. Once I have this first one, I'm going to bring it here. Get this. Uh, I'm going to show you how this was actually created. I made this in Figma. All of them, everything you're seeing here is 100% made in Figma. So what I'm going to do now is to get a plain image, get a plain frame, sorry. Then head to full one. I'm going to select iPhone 15 Pro Max. Then I'm going to copy the status bar and put here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do now is to select this color and uh, change it. Now, so once I've gotten this, uh, giving it a background, I'm going to head to the pen tool, then I'm going to do this first, just something that looks like you. So once you're done, leave it there. So I'm going to give 10, uh, increase the weight to five, uh, I'm just going to say six, then change the color to white. Now continue. So now you don't have to do this again. You just have to do it once. So what I'm going to do now is to draw this, draw this, draw this, draw this, and cut it here. So get this here. One, two, three. Cut it there. So another one we're going to do now is to pick from here, drop, and drop it here. Then select another one from here. Move and drop it there. I'm going to close this. Don't worry. So get this from here. To this place cut it here and get it through this place now the next thing I'm going to do is to just pick a point here select and drop pick here We're going to make this one straight line. Then there will be a line, a road from here, going to this place, get to this place. I'm going to drop it here. So once I have that, I'm going to draw another line here and bring it here. Then this. So once you're done, just click on your pick tool. Now it's time to just make things right. I'm just going to select this and shift. Then get this to this point. Do the same thing here. Stretch it to this place. Then I'm going to align this properly. Once you're done, you might just have to link these two, these two together. So get this here, yeah, much better. So now I'm going to 
close this up then do the same here and uh, we need to adjust this it's not looking nice so some of these are outside so what i'm going to do is to select everything here copy it delete then select the frame and paste it now everything is inside so what i'm going to do is to select this and move it up so we'll just look for any other loophole there is none select this and move up once that is done we're going to just fit the name to make it look like a real map i'm going to call this gym house now twist this we're going to fit this very well get this here and i would reduce to 12. i'm going to use this color so have it we don't want it to be too thick duplicate and uh, i'm going to get it to somewhere here and I'm going to use Auckland. Duplicate again and put here. Let's say Auckland Road. So duplicates come here. Now I'm going to turn it. It's a crystal straight. Duplicate this and bring it here to the west side. Click it again. I'm going to call this mountain. Duplicate. Come here. I'm going to say our museum. Duplicate. Bring it here and cover this coffee shop. I'm going to call this Chama Street. Then I also have a street on this map. I'm going to call this uh, Kingsley Street. then what else again nothing else i'm just going to take this pin map pin and just paste here duplicate it bring one here duplicate again look at it here i'm just going to bring it somewhere here duplicate look at it here bring it somewhere here just randomly place it so select this pin and bring it somewhere here now i'm going to pick this copy and paste then get the footer and paste so we'll just take one car and delete this so we just need one car we're going to place one here and i'm going to duplicate it and place one here make sure it's properly placed so once i have that i'm going to duplicate again then place another car here Position it to the direction you want it to move. Get this one here. Then duplicate. Get this one somewhere here. And uh, what next should I do? I'm going to select this. Leave it here. Now take it back. I'm going to take this back. I'm going to take this back. So, um, there's two ways you can actually approach this. There's, there's two ways you can actually approach this. Uh, the way you can actually do this is, I'm just going to position this thing very well. The way you can actually do this is either you make it a component 
or you just get only a card or only just design the frame link the frame only if you can make this a component i'm going to tell you the constraint you're going to face one is that when you try to animate the whole page the whole screen that you have both the booking process and all that you're going to encounter a lot of problems but if it's a page, it's going to be minimal. You just have to do everything straightforward. So I'm going to do page so you understand it properly. What I'm going to do now is to set this, duplicate this and put it here. Now, remember, this card, these cards were put somewhere around this place. So what I'm going to do is to see this one, move it first. Sorry, select the car, move it to this place. Get this one, move it to this place. Get this one move it to this place get this one and move it to this place then get this and move it to this place i'm going to get this one and move it to somewhere here just drop it here make sure this comes up and when you do that make sure this also come up here then i'm going to just push pull this guy up and pull this guy up here very very important look at the footer that we have there bring it out the same thing here bring it out now this is what we are going to do if i link this screen go to prototype and link this screen to this one i'm going to say after delay of 2000 milliseconds not bound not uh uh gentle i'm going to use linear now use linear and make it 7500 7500 that will be the speed now if i go ahead and preview this this is what we have you see so the cars all the cars are moving as if it's real but it's not when it gets there it stops now i'm going to tell you what would happen on the next screen so on the next screen what i'm going to do is to select this one and duplicate it now on the next screen what is going to happen is just to for this to turn this will turn here this one will turn here this one will come here and turn make sure you position it very well then this guy will turn back this will get here and turn then this one will get here and turn now what i'm going to do now is to make sure i put these guys properly yep make sure you put it properly so once i have this now go to your prototype select this one and link it to this one i'm going to say after the delay again not smart animate i'm going to use instant let that happen instant so after the delay of one second instantly turn now look at what will happen here again so now duplicate the screen again and now set the movement so what we are going to do now is to set the movement here and uh, set the movement of this one to be here then set this movement of this one to come here get this movement to come here then this one should come here then this moves to this place as if it's going off the screen so what i'm going to do now is to go back to my prototype and select this one i'm going to now say after delay again of 1000 milliseconds i'm just going to say 100 milliseconds because i want it to turn immediately and start moving 100 milliseconds not instant now smart animates linear 7500 so that will give you this the 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 good movements i'm going to preview this so now start afresh sorry guys so we're going to select this and uh, i'm going to add a flow i'm just going to leave it at flow so i'm not going to rename it so just kind of remain i'm just going to call it uh uber so rename it uber so what i'm going to do now is to preview this and see what it looks like So you see how the movement is actually going and when it gets to the, this screen it will happen instant look at it now it will turn and start moving again so that is how to actually 
build something like this in three months. It's really not very easy. Make sure to leave the subscribe button and I'm ready to see you.